Are we capturing goose? No. There is no cap. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, now, I actually have never played this game before, though I did watch Eren play it. <laughs> Alrighty. Begin. See? Two player. There is two player. You wish to cause right. havoc with friends. I do feel like this game is spiritually the opposite. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Press X to honk. Some... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I have emerged. How do I get out? Do I have to... Oh, oh there we go. Okay. Hold A to run. Oh, duck power. Why do I keep on calling it a duck? <laughs> Hold it. L2. Then for... Oh. Oh. Do stealth action. Oh, this is tutorial level. Did Aaron not do the tutorial level? I don't think so. She's already a goose expert, you know? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> Gooseologist. <laughs> yeah. There is actually quite a dynamic range of motions you can do. You have to bend down to pick up things and Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ready. For being such simple artwork, the motion uh, that they capture with it is... Yeah pretty impressive. That's true. Oh, it's running and honking. Terrifying. <laughs> arr, arr, freedom. This is Jurassic Park. Oh, <laughs> oh my. It's like, uh, like, like they, I think they uh, are, are too, right? Oh, oh, oh yeah, even more terrifying. Now, can I do that while running? Oh yes, that's that's full attack mode. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, tutorial's over. Now it's the real world. Ow. Yeah, eat somebody's lunch. <laughs> Broken in the leg. <laughs> okay, now how do I see what I... Oh, I can zoom in to goose... Okay, zoom out to goose view, zoom in to goose view. Now, when did I see my list that Aaron was at earlier? Okay, there we go. Then. Garden, get the groundskeeper. Okay, this is where. Um, yeah, I remember like they were talking about like what's the closest living ancestor to um, like the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it turned out to be the domestic chicken. I would have guessed goose. Aha. Groundskeeper has been wetted. <laughs> Infiltration has been achieved. Oh, not that yet. Uh oh. oh come on. Oh. Wow, it's actually a little bit tricky to Oh, get that key from him. Er. It's almost like a dynamic soundtrack because, like, the, the the some of the erratic piano stuff is directly in response to me. Oh come on! What does it take for a goose to pickpocket someone? I, having never been a goose, ah. can't comment. Hey, I technically locked him out of the garden. <laughs> I don't want to give these back now. Uh, but I have to get past him to get into the garden. All right, well, I guess these are going in the lake where they can't cause any harm to me. <laughs> See, I feel like it would have been appropriate if you couldn't get into the light after playing this game, but not before. <laughs> no, this is it. I had a chance. Now it's vengeance. Goose vengeance. I'm going to assume that's the case with all geese now. <laughs> You're choosing vengeance. Mm -hmm. Break in the lake. Ven I mean, yeah, I can believe a vengeful spirit occupies geese. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, drink. Oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah. Oh. Uh. 
Peck him. Peck his knee. He doesn't need an Achilles tendon. Uh. How do I... Oh yeah, I have to bend down to pick it up? There we go. <laughs> you scamper. <laughs> okay, let's do this now. Hee-ho! Lush. I'm like, and also like, who's giving these goose, this goose these instructions? Like, this is your mission, goose. Satan. Mm -hmm. We'd have, we have a picnic. <laughs> is that the stuff back there? Do I have to like, arrange these things? Under oh, I think it said what you need to do underneath the have a picnic. Picnic instructions were provided. <laughs> Okay, bring the picnic. Sandwich, apple, pumpkin, carrot, jam, thermos, radio. Oh, interesting. It's interesting because, yeah, I never, like, the way that people talked about the game, I thought it was just, just, like, carnage simulator, but it is a puzzle game. <laughs> yeah, know. it's not quite Grand Theft Goose. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a bit Grand Theft Goose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's not not Grand Theft Goose. Yeah. Pumpkin carrot jam thermos radio. Let's go. I want carnage. That's good. Yeah. Oh, if you want carnage, that's good yeah. simulator. <laughs> Where's the cat? I am surprised at. Uh, well, I mean the mechanics, but that they have the humans just start to ignore the goose immediately after the goose stops causing trouble. I, mean, I just yeah. can't think that it would be anything other than a goose stole my rake <laughs> and I was watching that goose until it was gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, the AI isn't always the best for like object permanence. Like playing like Thief the Dark Age and stuff and you're like just, like distracting the guards and they're like, oh, what was that? And it was you know, like, you're making bloody murder and they're like, oh, guess it was nothing. To go back to their like positions. Yeah, I can run this. I'm uh I'm reading a book to review it right now, and I won't say the name of the book because I'm about to say some non complimentary <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh -huh. And I think I'm gonna be generally nice about it because it's a, it's a collection of essays. But like one of the essays, it's it's about um, it's a bunch of ethicists trying to figure out Oof. the morality of issues likely to come up with advancing technology in the future, which is a very cool premise. Mm -hmm. But not a lot of them make a distinction between algorithms, machine learning, and AI, and it's driving me slightly nuts. Mm, that's, that's understandable. <laughs> yeah. Now, you get very different discussions about, like, what, like, computers and all these things are when you talk to a computer scientist or even like a logician than when you talk to a philosopher like there's definitely a lot of like need for communication there because i've had really elaborate kind of conversations with computer scientists about the nature of computing in fact one of my good friends computer scientists we were talking about the ethics of like can you make an ai that would be like you know if i am a danger to humans i will turn myself off like there's actually so many logistical wait the sandwich no oh. The other sandwich. And, you know, you're, um, you're talking about this from an ethicist perspective, and Cabocera makes the point that a normal person wouldn't know that difference. And that is fair. <laughs> I know. But I know it. So it's driving me insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, the guy who started the, the uh, logic as we know it, right? is the same guy who started talking about ethics as we know it. That was one dude, it's my nemesis Aristotle, who I oh, keep radio. having to come back <laughs> to. <laughs> I mean, you know, this logic is in a tradition, and then this logic in terms of how your how like logic works in different contexts. We don't have to be entirely beholden thing. to Aristotle. No, but Aristotle did come up with a lot of the stuff that I used throughout uh, my oh, oh no. career. Oh, the jig is you know, <laughs> In law, you know, you want the formal diagramming and all of that uh, fun stuff. You want thinking about words and ideas 
like it's math. That's formal logic, and it's I don't understand why an ethicist wouldn't be there with it, because you have to know it's springing out of the same place. Driving me insane. Hey, farmer, hey. Why is he putting, why is he putting the, the radio Stab under? him with the spade. <laughs> uh, <laughs> add murder to my list of goose crimes? No. Don't you keep your radio under your cooler? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Wait, I can run. Go, go, go. Oh no, the music's getting more intense. Oh, he's faster than me with his human legs. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Haha! You the haven't. The slowest space agent! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Captain Sarah making a good point to keep the radio from overheating. <laughs> Indeed. I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not a Mac with. <laughs> I'll make the groundskeeper hammer his thumb. Oh, how do I. Oh. And... I actually didn't pay, notice this. Or what one. was the bad one? I had uh, I had an HP, and I think they had that issue with just melting. Oh yeah, I definitely destroyed a Mac once playing too much World of Warcraft on it, which you Oof. know, like, is also kind of cosmic justice. But you know, <laughs> I have his thumb. How do I do? This? You're gonna have to get the hammer to him somehow. It was. I don't know if you saw it. The one up there? Up, yeah. Maybe you need to annoy him so much that he picks up the hammer to try so... to murder you. <laughs> and then go from there. <laughs> Oh, he's already holding a spade. He could try to kill you with a spade. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Oh, 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 I see. Oh, this is how it's going to happen. I need to honk at him when he's hammering in that. Yeah. Okay, on your mark. <laughs> Get set. Goose. Oh, no. I goose too soon. I goose too soon. <laughs> All right. On your mark. Set. Go oh, oh. I'm too quick on the goose. I do like that he seems to expect you to understand there the no goose side. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I guess I have added murder to my list of goose crowds. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Freedom. All right, made it to the next zone. All right, folks. Well, we're getting close to eight o'clock. But yeah, I don't know. Um, we're going to be relatively loose, loosey goosey over the summer um, in terms of the <laughs> the games <laughs> and the themes um, uh, that we draw from. Um, as always, if there's a game you would like us to play or a theme, uh, either like academic information literacy, library related, that you would like us to talk about on stream, um, please feel free to message us um, on YouTube, on Twitch, um, you know, if you happen to know us outside of that and we will cover it um, come away with me in the law library i get so lonely yeah well, actually actually michelle do you do you have a do you have a you don't have a gaming system yet do you uh no i have a computer i have not gone to get uh i'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking the switch okay. what i hear is that nintendo is the only one who has or which has a ton of proprietary software Generally, so it seemed, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Right. I don't know if you wanted to play Ace Attorney or something law related while talking more specifically about your services, but that's something. <laughs> if you, if and going absolutely insane because Japanese procedure is just nuts compared. I mean, okay, it's, it's, it's very a different. lot. <laughs> our legal system. It's very different from mm -hmm. our legal system. It's not to say that our legal system is, you know ideal either <laughs> yes this is what this is what i mean i was about to say something that sounded pejorative but you know what it's not like we don't have enough problems that i shouldn't be talking <laughs> mm -hmm. Alrighty then so yeah we'll sort something out um feel free to give us suggestions 
Otherwise, it's been lovely hanging out and chatting. This honks for you. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Oh.